Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. So now it is time for DX Stream.、Uh, in short, Fraps is pretty basic when it comes to configuration. This is where DX3 by Xcode has a lot more configuration options. But let's take a look at some of the basics that you'll need to get running. So when you、uh, launch DX3, you'll be in the Target tab, and this shows the Target、uh, games that you can record. So you can see this Java W. Exe. This is the Minecraft window over here. The next tab is your overlay. So if I didn't want this video. With the 35 frames per second, I could、uh, either turn off that. I could turn off the right FPS or the record status. I really like the record status, so I keep that selected. There's also the use default button, which、uh, I'll go ahead and turn off. In the next tab, you have your folder settings. This is where you will choose the path on where you would like your recordings to be placed. We'll go ahead and keep it right there. You can also test out your write speed by running a test on this computer. This has an SSD hard drive, so my megabits per second are really, really high on how fast it will write to the hard drive. Next is your hotkey settings. All of the things that you could assign to hotkeys are right here. Movie capture is automatically F12, and you can do a screenshot with F11. Next is your movie settings. Now there is a lot. Here you can have your geek drive just go to a million, but some of the things that you really want to make sure that you have selected is file output right here. There is a way to just go ahead and stream through DX3, and if you for some reason don't have file output selected, it just won't save a file. It will run, but it just won't actually write a file. Also,、uh, you have all of the other settings and tons and tons of codecs. I am not going to get into codecs. There's a lot of Argument over which one's the best one to use. If you would like, there are some resources in our show notes that you can go ahead and check out. Next is the audio tab. One of the things that I love about DX3 is that it will allow you to record multiple streams of audio. So this first stream, you can see this number one, is my speakers. This is output of the device. In the next, I have my input, which is my microphone. You can also add another、uh, input if you want or output,、um, so you can continue to add sources as you wish. You can also choose what codec and at what bit rate you are recording in. Next is your screenshot settings,、uh, so you have tons and tons of options、uh, right here. I mean, you can choose the、uh, the type. I mean, basically all the settings you would need for screenshots are right here. Next is a few advanced settings. This will help,、uh, you know, if you have extra processing threads. So I have up to eight.、Um, I normally just use the default. Next is some global settings, and then finally a little bit of information about your license and such like that. One thing that I like about DX3 is you can see up in the corner that there is a status that、uh, we are recording a movie. Now, in this、uh, little, you know, quick just walkthrough, I'm recording both my mic and the in-game audio. So let's go ahead and stop. And you can see that it finished. If I go over to the recordings、uh, that I just made, you can see that they're here. And if you bring them into an edit program, you'll actually notice that there's really only one audio source. What you have to do is right-click and choose Extract Audio from Stream. This will pull the audio out. So now I actually have two audio versions, which then you can bring into your video editor. Otherwise, you'll really only have one because the video only sees one audio stream. So, in the next video, let's get into streaming all of your games and a little bit of recording on the side with XSplit.